My name is Dirk Dallas, I'm 33. I'm based in Southern California. I'm a designer, filmmaker, professor, and photographer. So back when I was 16, my grandpa let me play with his video camera and I used to shoot my friends skateboarding. I wasn't very good, so I was the guy that was filming them skateboard. And I really fell in love with film, videography, and so one day, I decided I wanted to get a lot better at filming and I wanted to start like a 365 project where I practiced my composition every single day. The easiest way to do that though was when I got the first iPhone that came out. And what I did was I decided to take one single picture every day for a whole year. And by the time I started doing it for a few months, I looked back at my camera roll and I noticed that I had a lot of photos and I wanted to share them. And then one day I was told, hey, you should download this new app that just came out called Instagram. When I first opened it up, I didn't really know what I was doing, but I posted a photo and then nothing happened. So I deleted it right there the first day. A few months later, my same friend said, hey, this app is really cool. Lots of photographers are on it. You should redownload it. I posted a photo and I instantly got feedback from a couple people all over the world. And I was just blown away. And that's how I basically built um, my career with photography. So right now we're at one of my favorite spots down here in Laguna Beach. This is where I like to bring my family. My girls love playing in the sand and you know climbing over there on the rocks. And so I really love shooting at the beach. I love the waves. I love them crashing against the rocks. I love the sand. I love the warmth. And I love just being able to look out at the ocean and you know basically see water for infinity. It just really makes me realize you know how small I am in this world and you know, just how immense and beautiful, you know, planet Earth is. If I can, you know, maybe touch someone in some special way where they're touched by my photography, I really am satisfied in that. So a couple years ago when I got my first drone, I started tagging my photos with from where I drone. And it was kind of like a play on the really popular hashtag from where I stand. But after a while, I noticed that there was tons of people posting with that hashtag. I clicked on it and I was surprised to find like 500 photos of other drone photographers using that same tag. And that's when I realized that there was a little community of us that you know we were kind of bonded together by a hashtag. So what I decided to do was I decided to start an Instagram account called From Where I Drone. And I basically wanted to feature drone photographers that were doing really awesome photography and I wanted to share their work on that um, Instagram page and inspire other people because I was so inspired. And then from there, you know, I'm a professor and I love to teach, so I thought, hey, maybe I could share some of the things I'm learning with the community as well. Maybe I can, you know, help someone out, uh, share something that I've learned along the way. And so this has now really turned into a community where I'm teaching people, I'm hopefully inspiring people, and of course people are inspiring me, so it's just turned into a really beautiful thing. My favorite camera, of course, is the one I always have with me, and that's my iPhone. I also like to shoot with a 5D Mark III, but now that I'm into drone photography, I love my Phantom 3 and I love my Phantom 2, but I most of all love my Inspire 1. I just got that recently, and the camera on there is just so nice, and it's just a really awesome drone, and helps me get angles that are, you know, angles I've never captured before, so I just, I love shooting with that. My advice to someone that's interested in getting into the field of photography would be to just do it. I cannot tell you how important it was for me to take a picture every single day when I first started with you know, the original iPhone. The reason why is because that got me practicing every single day. I was in the mindset of looking for a cool shot and trying to capture something, trying to tell a story. So don't feel like you have to have a $2,000 camera when you have a pretty powerful camera in your pocket, you know? Just get out there and shoot, share your vision, tell a story, communicate an idea or an emotion with someone. Most of all, just take a risk, put yourself out there. If I'm not the best writer, I'm an okay speaker, but I love to just communicate with that one single frame. I think moving forward, it's really gonna be up to photographers to figure out like, what makes me different from this guy or this gal? How am I unique? One of the things about me is I'm just absolutely fascinated by flight, you know? birds flying by, airplanes going by, rockets going into the air. So I think that that's one of the reasons why I've been led to drone photography. I'm just fascinated by this flying camera that's giving me an angle that I've never been able to get before. So I would encourage photographers to see like what is interesting to you? What, what are you curious about? And let that be infused into your art.